In this video, we will show you how to take a Molex, also known as Tamiya connector, and replace it with a Traxxas high current connector. There are certain safety precautions you should be aware of, and we'll discuss them as we go along. The basic tools needed are side cutters or needle nose pliers, a wire stripper, a flat blade screwdriver, rosin core solder, and of course a soldering iron, minimum of 40 watts. Go ahead and power the iron to warm it up. Be very cautious. The soldering iron, the freshly tinned wire, and soldered terminal will be hot. First step is soldering the wire to the terminal. Begin by cutting the black wire. Be sure to only cut and install one wire at a time. You could short the battery with your wire stripper if you cut both the positive and negative wires at the same time. Go ahead and strip the wire insulation to expose about 1 8 inch or 4 millimeters of wire. Make sure you do not expose more than 4 millimeters of bare wire. Next, tin the exposed wire with solder. Heat the exposed wire with the tip of the soldering iron until the solder melts when placed against the wire. Try to touch the solder to the wire, not the soldering iron. Solder will flow around and completely coat the wire. It is very important to make sure that you have the correct terminal to solder. Here we're soldering the female terminal that will later be installed into the female housing, both labeled with the letter B. The male housing is labeled with the letter A. Notice the side of the terminal that is labeled with the words wire side. This is the side of the terminal you will solder to. Make sure no portion of the wire or solder is past the solder limit line. Apply heat and pressure to the tinned wire with the soldering iron until the solder melts and bonds onto the terminal. Remove the soldering iron and hold the wire in place until the solder cools and hardens. Allow adequate time for the wire and terminal to cool, then pull on the wire and terminal to test the strength of the solder joint. The next step is to insert the terminal into the appropriate opening in the housing based on the letter and wire color. Black is negative and red is positive. Here we're inserting the negative female terminal into the negative female housing opening. Listen for a snap to indicate when the terminal is seated correctly. Here's a tip. Use a hard edge or small flat blade screwdriver to assist with terminal insertion. Repeat these steps for the other wires and terminals. When assembled correctly, there will be no exposed wiring and there will be an approximate one millimeter gap between the end of the terminal and the connector housing. <laughs> 